Hey everyone, it's Colby. I'm sitting here in my niece's playroom. Thought I'd give you guys a little more stuff to see, her cute little um, fridge. Um, tonight, I'm going to talk about something that is not fun to go through or really talk about. Rejection. Ah, and basically, rejection sucks. I mean, I think we can all pretty much say that. I'm pretty sure we've all been through it, whether it be with a guy or a girl or a friend. You know, just re rejection's not fun. Um, I think what I've learned and kind of what I've been not studying about rejection, just looking into and just how to get through that is that rejection is something that the devil uses to kick you when you're down. Rejection takes away your self-esteem. It takes away your confidence. It takes away, really, it takes away a lot. Being rejected is not fun. And this isn't just if you like a guy and he doesn't like you back. Or you like a girl and he, she doesn't like you back. This could be anything. This could be you have a friend and they reject you totally kind of, you know, stab you in the back or something. And it's just not, it's not fun to go through at all. And it really gets you low and a lot lower than you need to be, which is when the devil gets you and he's like, see, you can't, you can't get up from this. You, oh, you, you just have to stay this low. You can't go any higher. You can only go lower. But that's a lie. Newsflash. That is a lie. And one thing we have to do so we don't get sucked into this depressing uh, depressing pool whenever we are rejected or we go through something like that, we just have to stay with our feet planted on the ground and our feet um, planted firmly on the ground of the Lord. And He has to be your rock. Because if you've heard that song, On Christ the Solid Rock I Stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And it seriously is. If you put your faith in other things, you're just going to sink. It's not ever going to work out because God is the way, the truth, and the life. That's it. He, he is, he is, okay? So the Bible verse I have is Ephesians 3.19. And it says, And to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. You have to stay full in the Lord. You have to make sure that that is your priority and that that is where your heart and your soul is. And that's where you're putting 99.9% of your everything. You have to give that your all because then if you are rejected or you face something like that, it's not going to bring you down. The devil's not going to be able to get you. He's not going to bring you down any more than you can be. And he's going to be like, dang it, the Lord got them. And you're going to be like, yes, he did. Back up, devil, because I'm on the Lord and he's on my side. I got the Lord on my side. So if you face rejection, do not let it kill your self-esteem. You are amazing. God created you. He formed you in your mother's womb. Remember that next time you're sad or you're upset because something bad went wrong or you were rejected or something like that. So next week, I will be back, but I will be gone all week at a retreat with no phone. So I'm going to post the video at like 3 o'clock-ish, so just be on the lookout. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.